everybody, today I'm going to talk about how I regionally unlocked my Japanese GameCube. Now, if you're new here, continue to to ring the bell. So, I mentioned about the Japanese consoles that I uh, opened up in the Epic Sendico haul that I did a couple months ago. And I mentioned about Sendico and how I really am an advocate for it because it's such an amazing website where you could order really cheap prices for Japanese game consoles and stuff like that because I'm still not satisfied with why the console prices and game prices in the US are so ridiculous. So today I'm basically going to be talking about how I reached and unlocked my GameCube. So yeah, let's get started. So this isn't really a tutorial, it's more of just how I did it because, uh, man, this was really hard to do. So. Uh, I knew a little bit of the history of like unscrewing consoles with the screws and stuff because when I bought the NES, uh, I had the blinking light issue and I got in there and actually fixed it. But uh, this is the first experience to where it required soldering. So uh, I got two Game Cubes um, from Japan, which I don't know why I did. Actually, I think I know why it's because I saw a silver one first for, for 10 bucks. And this one works. And uh, I saw this orange one later on, which honestly, recently, I had no idea there were orange GameCubes. But I am so glad I know that now because this color is my favorite. And uh, I got two of these. And uh, when I got them in the mail, like three months after I ordered them, including that red weed back there, uh, I had the sad realization that they were region locked. So basically, you can only play Japanese games, which kind of sucks because like Japanese games are so much cheaper than the copies in America. I kind of want to region unlock one of these because it's like I want at least one GameCube that has the ability to play American games. So I decided to choose the orange one and I was looking for tutorials and I did see a tutorial that was good enough for like a starting point but there's not really that many great tutorials on how to do it, which sadly, this isn't really a tutorial, it's just basically how I did it. So, uh, this one, I'm not gonna mod because I already did it once with this and this took a long time. So yeah, I'm not gonna, this is still gonna be a Japanese version. So what happened was is, uh, I was gonna do this by myself, but like, other projects that I've done before, I need help. So I called up my dad, and my dad is great in these types of things. So uh, I actually ordered a uh, screwdriver set specifically for consoles like this because, like, for some reason, like, some of these screwdrivers are, like, very specific to consoles or game consoles in particular. And you kind of have to order the right ones for to unscrew them and stuff. Actually, with the NES, when I did that, it was a little bit different because it was just standard screws. But the GameCube has a lot of like screw holes that are like very kind of distinct. So I called my dad and he helped me a lot. If, if he wasn't there, I wouldn't have done it because this required soldering. So uh, when I started this a little bit, uh, he was with me. I should have recorded a little bit, but I didn't know if he wanted to be recorded. But uh, so basically what I wanted to do is that uh, there is a region lock on this GameCube and in that one too, to where you can't play American games. And I also didn't think there was a re way to region unlock it. But uh, so what I did was, or what basically my dad did, is we unscrewed the four bottom screws in there, and then we took out the disk drive, and we took out a bunch of stuff to get to the motherboard. But there's better people who can explain it better than me. But basically, we got down to the motherboard. It's very faint. Like, I I knew that the tutorials I've seen on YouTube, like, they're very small text to where you need to, uh, like, solder to uh, regional lock it. But it's so small print that I don't know if I have them with me. But I actually really needed my glasses because my eyesight has gotten horrible. Like, I had to go get my glasses because I couldn't see it. So, it's just this very small part of the motherboard where it's like right like in the middle around here. It's called like R6 and R5. It's like a very small part. Like, it's almost impossible to see. At first, what we tried to do is we tried to move the bridge in the motherboard that is connected to the Japan 
uh, region and try to move it over to English or American. But that didn't work because we lost the piece. And that's actually when I saw in the tutorial that he, the same guy lost the piece. So we ended up getting uh, like metal or like soldering. He tried soldering like a piece of metal to connect the bridge, but it just, it was too small. And we actually needed some flux to where like, it's kind of like glue to stick it on. So I didn't think this was gonna work. Uh, I mean, I really appreciated my dad for helping me, but like, this was only like 30 minutes ago that we did this. And uh, I decided to say, screw it, we'll just plug it in and see what happens because actually I did get lucky with this iPod when I first modded this because like, it was so, like, this thing was way worse because uh, my dad had to solder it even though it wasn't required to solder. It was so hard to get into like the components to put a, a, a iFlash card in it. So uh, this one is awesome, but it took a pain in the ass to do. This one was a lot more time consuming compared to this iPod. But uh, yeah, I just try to plug it in. I see if it works. It worked. I don't know how it did because if you saw the inside of this, there was basically like he tried. I love my dad, he really tried, but there wasn't really a bridge connecting to the R6, the R6 section to make it American. So I had no idea. I didn't. I did not think it would work at all. But I actually tried it, and it actually works. And uh, I'll show you proof. All right, guys. So I'm at my old DVD player because I really don't want to plug this into the CRT because that CRT is a pain to get through. So I decided to plug these two game cubes to kind of compare. This is the one that's still region blocked. So I kind of want to provide like a before and after, even though this was our, this is already region blocked to kind of give a comparison. So I have the silver one plugged in because this has AVN actually. And don't mind the scratches on the uh, screen. I don't know what happened. So this is a silver GameCube and this is how the orange one was, was before I modded this. So if it'll turn on, there it is. So this one, was what, what the orange one was originally, too. It's Japanese. Which, yeah, that was a bit of a problem because even though I do love Japanese, like, games and stuff, they're kind of hard to play with, like, if you're trying to get a game with, like, dialogue and stuff. So, that's still region locked. So, so if I connect the exact same things through here, uh, I might actually need to zoom that out a little bit. There we go. Uh, so, to give you proof that this is a Japanese GameCube, yeah, that's ja that's a Japanese GameCube. So, uh, I don't want to have it actually, like, remove the stickers to replace it with an American GameCube, because it would be impossible to tell that it was originally from Japan. If I turn this on, this is a Japanese GameCube, you'll notice something a little bit different. <laughs> That is in English. So, yeah, I just had no idea how this worked because my dad really tried and like, it's not, maybe my theory is, is that it might not even need to bridge to that R6 thing at all because it just was barely there. I mean, my dad really tried. He had like a microscope or magnifying glass. So yeah, so this is a Japanese orange GameCube with English, so. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, so, yeah, this thing was a pain in the butt to do. So, I mean, not as bad as the iPod. But, yeah, so for anyone who w does want to region unlock a GameCube, because with my pills, like, with, like, the pills that I take for, like, anxiety, I'm very shaky. Like, I don't really focus in small, like, small movements that well to fix, like, soldering and stuff. So my dad really did it for me. So yeah, so I would recommend maybe doing a service where you're setting your GameCube and someone else will do it for you because it's way easier. So yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'm back at the old house since I went to Pensacola and I'll post some more videos. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.